YouTube. As everybody knows, we are social distancing and tonight was supposed to be the second annual Young Victoria dinner, which for those of you who don't know is my much loved 1830s fancy dinner. Um, but you can take me out of the party, but you can't take the party out of me. So I'm dressed up for my social isolation party of one. And I thought it might be fun to play a round of Costumer's Quarantine 20 Questions. I will put this uh, list of questions up for anyone in the description box because I would love to see everyone else's answers to it uh, because it would be kind of a fun quarantine project. And I'll create a playlist with all of everyone's answers and we'll get a chance to get to know each other. And if anyone else wants to come up with their own list of questions, I would be happy to put on another stupid outfit and do this again. Uh, I know that there will be questions, so some of the basics are I'm wearing my uh, Dames a la Mode jewelry from Taylor. Uh, my amazing hairpiece was made by the one and only Jenny LaFleur, and the front curls are a wiglet I bought on eBay and cut into pieces badly. I made the dress myself. It's uh, cotton organdy from Dharma Trading and vintage uh, ribbon from eBay, I believe. Uh, flowers from Michaels. The pattern is based off of, um, it's actually the truly Victorian ball gown bodice that I just added the sleeves from patterns of fashion that are just a giant circle. They're the most amazingly easy sleeve pattern. Highly recommend it. So without further ado, let's get into my version of Costumer's Quarantine 20 Questions. Question number one, what was your first costume? Mine was a horribly embarrassing uh, simplicity pattern made for the Ren Fair. Question number two is what is your favorite costume or what are you most proud of? For me, it's hands down my 1860s fancy dress alphabet costume, which I will put a picture of here. It was a lot of work and it was really fun to figure out and it's still one of my favorites to wear. Where the are all these cars coming from? Stay home, flatten the curve. Number three, what's a costume you dream of making? For me, it's I would love to make an 1860s elliptical hoop gown, but I don't have an elliptical hoop in it. Am I ever gonna make one? Probably not. Stay down. Stay. Never work with children or animals. Or husbands. Number four, what's a sewing task you love versus a sewing task you hate? Uh, I hate making mock-ups and making twalls. Uh, which is why my stuff never fits as well as I want it to. Hate, loathe, and despise. Um, but I love making piping and I love finishing dresses with piping. I just think it's the neatest way to do it. Number five, would you rather sew with wool or with silk? Hands down wool, I love how forgiving it is and I love the smell of ironing wool. It's like snuggling a warm sheep. <laughs> Number six, would you rather go to a themed event in, where everyone's in the same theme or a pick your own theme event where you get to wear whatever inspires you? For me, I prefer when everybody dresses the same and we get to put ourselves in a period location and just imagine what it was like to be then. Number seven, would you rather go to a big ball or an intimate dinner? This one's tricky for me as I do really love both, but at the moment I would take an intimate dinner with my best friends because I miss them so much. Number eight, do you prefer to machine sew or hand sew? Hand sewing all the way. Number nine, do you like to wear wigs, hair pieces, or your own hair? Personally, I find my own hair very difficult to deal with. It's curly and I'm not good at it. So I actually prefer to wear a mix of hair pieces and my real hair. So these are all hair pieces with a braid of my real hair wrapped around. That's what I find easiest to work with. Number 10, name five small costume businesses that you like supporting. For me, Jenny LaFleur, Dames Allen Mode, Victorian Photography Studio, Burnley and Trowbridge, and Red Threaded all get my vote. There are so many more that I could shout out to, but those are just a quick five. I can't wait to hear what you all shout out for new businesses I should look for. Apparently there's still five o'clock rush hour despite the fact that we're all supposed to be working from home. On a Saturday. Oh, right, on a Saturday. Derp. Number 11 is named five YouTubers that you think we should check out. I'll put their names up all on the screen because I'm not really sure that I'm gonna pronounce them all correctly, but here are five YouTubers I think you should all give a follow to. Oh, that's a fire truck. They're allowed to be traffic. Yeah. Number 12, what's your favorite color? For me, team orange all the way. Number 13, pearls or sparkles? Now this one clearly I can go both ways, but if I had to live with one forever, it would be pearls. 
Number 14, what's a costume trip on your bucket list? I would love to attend one of Prior Attire's balls in the UK. Pinky. Ellie, come on, get down. 15, what is your favorite cocktail? For me, it would be a virgin rum and coke, but with Dr. Pepper instead of coke. So, just a Dr. Pepper? I'm a great designated driver. 16, who's a costumer that you would love to meet? I would love to meet Jen Thompson from Festive Attire. I've followed her for a long time, and I would love for our paths to cross someday. 17, would you prefer a plain or a patterned fabric? Uh, for me, the only correct answer is plaid. And orange. And orange. Oh, if you have a link to orange plaid, hook a girl up. 18, would you prefer to use a pattern or make your own? I'm a little bit lazy, so I would probably use a pattern as a first step and go from there. Number 19, what's your favorite era to wear and make? The delightful 1830s are my favorite to wear. My favorite to make is probably actually the 1860s. It's a close second. What? Cars, you're all supposed to be isolating. 20, what is one thing we don't know about you? For me, nobody knows that I'm currently wearing slippers instead of shoes because of quarantine. All right, everyone, thanks for playing along on my uh, costumer's 20 questions. I would love to hear your answers or your list of questions. Please remember to stay safe and be healthy during this trying time. Hopefully we'll get to get out and see each other again soon. Give it a like and a subscribe if you have more fun ideas for things I can do while stuck in quarantine. So thanks for watching. Bye. The higher the hair, the closer to God. Can't do it under pressure, lay off man.